Hello everybody, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Speaking from Drummond, Drummond, Norway. I'm trying to talk to you about something, I'm discussing about something about battles of mind. What is battles of mind? Battles of mind is Battles of mind is what is called battles of mind. I don't know. You, you understand? Battles of mind. Say it, battle of mind. So, battle of mind is something that is real in this world. It is a battle in the mind. It is a, is a devil's weapon. It is a devil's strategy to destroy the mind. But in using battles in the mind. Some people, people are fighting different types of battles. And if these battles are those that are making, it can make someone from very good person to very evil person. And if someone can be, have been good, but then they can be totally destroyed and become the evilest people in the world. And the people may wonder where this is coming from. It is coming from what we call the battle of mind. Battle of mind is something that is very real you can see that anger is battle in the mind depression is battle in the mind um uh, you can see even a hunger poverty can it bring into battle in the mind you can see that um, aggressiveness, aggression, no? something with the resentment, is a battle in the mind. This is a, a, the aspect of something like this. Mental illness, or other things. All these are battles in the mind. And these are the things that are driving people in becoming, it can have it when it come it becomes serious it can bring a person even if a born again christian um to fall so these are the things it is a devil's strategy when the devil has not been able to uh for you as a child of god the church we must know that but of mind is really these days and it is, can be like you, it is true that the lord must set us free and we must fight the battles of mind before these battles of mind go and the only way to fight the battle of mind is through the power of god by prayer so when whenever when it just starts because this is something that can drive someone from no matter who from very very uh, good person to be the worst person it can make even people start to kill each other or kill someone or kill people do criminal things it is a battle of mind in the mind and sometimes this we don't know what this is where some people say that ah it's just a mental of course mental illness mental illness is something like that but how we treat it this is something else so battle of mind is real and this is something that we should all consider that we see that on the online there is a lot of things happening and you can really if you are not so very careful as a child of god you can end up being totally manipulated and lose your way because the, i have myself i came to the point of starting to see that hey it looked like i i have been battling depression this with these three weeks and but i understood that this is how the devil can exploit people especially people who are standing in the or standing because to make the people start to fall and start to go back into so that the devil can enter and destroy you and suddenly you can start to do even all bad things bad things it starts in the battle of the mind online 
there is a lot of things that can happen and destroy people. And all those, even for those people who are doing that, they are also struggling with the same thing, battle of mind. You can see a woman, a woman or a man, one thing, some of a man, even if the man he doesn't want it to show, they doesn't show them any of it. But if they will continue to fight, do manipulation, I have been stalking is one of the things. A stalker. I'm just telling this. Um. So if you are not careful, you will find yourself to become a slave of sin again. And yes, you can fall again. You can fall back. And you, you can start to wonder, how can I come back to, to the track? You can lose your track when you are fighting with the battle in the mind. Normally, the battle of mind is only you can fight with prayers. And if you want to win the battle of mind, is prayer. when you come to the point to realize that now the battle in my, I have battle in my mind, there can be very a lot of things. It can start like you fall in love, and then suddenly you find out now it is not. Then you understand that now I have, I have to take control of myself. You understand? It is all this falling in love is something good, and let God lead you into the right path without trying to do anything to manipulate the situation. You can do something to, especially when you you wanted to uh, help the, the the one other to understand you or no. But you know that when it goes into beyond what is natural, you know that you have came into the devil's trap that will want to bring you into the um, battle of mind. And the better thing you have to how to fight the battle of mind is always is through prayers. And the prayers is only we can ever bring you back on the track again. You can see that there are some people are uh, really struggling um, with this kind of battle of mind in these days of time. In these days, that to the point that it can really bring them into becoming. When you see that someone has. A, uh, become a very, very, very strange person. Like we can see that there rise a lot of types of people, like activists, um, people who um, people who uh, doesn't want to listen to anything, only the voice that is within. They do not want to listen to the reality, even if you tell them this is actually the reality. They do not want to listen. You know that it's because they have battle in their mind. And uh, you can see that now we have raised so many people in, in, in this category, especially these days online, they see that um, that uh, they can be behaving very strangely, and you, you are you now. I understand that it is because of the uh, battle of the mind. What should you do with the battle of mind? It's only prayers. It's only the power of God that has to do that. When you are suffering from anything that battle in your mind, bring it to God and tell God about about the situation and let him handle that situation and after some time you will see that the situation will roll and you will start to feel good again you can see the battles of mind that the people are not content with things that they have that some people are not content with the people the things that they have this kind of this kind of battle of mind is so much common in some in especially now you see that uh, people you can see that someone they want everything um when they see something new they want something new it can be anything it can be 
so these kinds of battle of minds really are they are the destruction of the devil and when you have it it can really drive you crazy and when you, the devil can push you to the point that you cannot realize what you are doing. This is why you say that we can see that someone who has been very good can be exploited to be the worst person in the world. And some people start to kill each other and still kill other people. People like uh, we say that people like Hitler, right? you understand them, they started it was a battle in their mind that has brought them there. People like, um, I will go to talk even more about the activism and the other things in another video. But let's continue to talk about it. Let's end up here that it knows that we have something called the battle, battle of the mind that is ruining even in the church of Christ today, heart rate, you can see that small something can happen and suddenly the heart rate is started to circulate even in the in the body of Christ. You see that. You say, ha, huh, how can actually the church of Christ be destroyed? These are, when God Jesus said that he told Peter, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail it. So remember, it's because when, never, when you apply the name of Jesus. So you cannot just let this to just be ruin the body of Christ. It is only through the power of God, these, uh, these the battles of mind can destroy. So today I was just wanting to, to, to share with you that the church of Christ about the battles of mind. Whenever when you go, whenever when you find something like um, this, whether in the church or outside the church, remember it is a battle of mind. This is what we need to fight. We know that we haven't been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. So the, that's something good about this is that if you see fear in the body of Christ, know that it is not from the Lord. And if you 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 see that it is there is heart rate in the body of Christ, no, it is not from the Lord. It is a battle of mind that is trying to destroy, penetrate, and destroy the body of Christ. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus.